Number 4, the updated box of dates of mass 5 kg is sent sliding up a frictionless ramp at an angle of theta to the horizontal. This figure gives, as a function of time, the component Vx of the box velocity along an x-axis that extends directly up the ramp. So we have the ramp over here, and we know that x points upwards, directly up the ramp. Okay, so that's our ramp. Let's draw our box over here, and let's choose our y direction to be perpendicular to the ramp. What is the magnitude of the normal force on the box from the ramp? So we know that this angle is theta, however we don't know which angle is this. So we can now draw our free body diagram. And you're probably thinking that you have three different forces, different forces, one sent in the box upwards. However, this force sent in the box upwards doesn't exist because you can imagine that there is a person over here that just throw the box upwards and then the velocity of the box starts to decrease. So when the box is moving, there are no forces pushing it upwards. The only two forces that we have here is the force of gravity and the normal force over here. Okay, so those are the two forces that we have here. Anyway, so we have to decompose the force of gravity. So we have one y component, so let's call it Fgy, and we have one x component, let's call it Fgx. We know that Fgx is equal to Fg times the sine of this angle over here and as always this angle is the same as this angle over here so they are the same angle so this is the sine of the angle that we don't know it starts so fgy is equal to fg times the cosine of the angle okay so, since the acceleration of the box is constant, and how do we know that the acceleration of the box is constant? Because the function of the velocity in function of time is a straight line. And when the velocity is a straight line, we know that the acceleration is constant. So, the acceleration is constant and we can calculate the acceleration of the box. We just have to use that Ax is equal to delta Vx over delta T. So we can choose two different points, any two different points. So let us choose the easiest ones. Let me just... Um, so let's see which one crosses a good point. So let's start from this point and go to this point over here. So we know that in this case, delta Vx is equal to minus 5 meters per second. And we know that delta t is equal to 2 seconds. Okay, so we delta vx, this is a v, not an x. v and x. Delta vx. So we can calculate the acceleration in the x direction. And is equal to minus 5 over 2, which is equal to minus 2.5 meters per square second. Okay, so now we have the acceleration of the box. And remember Newton's second law equation, we know that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. And we can we have to write Newton's second law equation for the x components and the y components. Okay, so for the x components, we only have one force, which is Fg. So Fgx is equal to mass times the acceleration in the x direction. As for the y direction, we have Fn minus Fgy, which is equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. We can just cross out the acceleration in the y direction because the acceleration in the y direction is zero. So we have that Fn is equal to Fgy. So Fn, which is the one that we we need that we want, we want to calculate the normal force. So we want to find out the value of a Fn is just Fgy, which is equal to Fg cosine 
of the angle and the force of gravity is mass times gravity times the cosine of the angle so the only thing that we don't know here is the angle so if we find the angle we can find the normal force okay so we are going to find the angle from this equation over here so fgx is equal to fg times the sine of the angle which is equal to mass times acceleration which is minus 2.5 so the sine of the angle is equal to minus 2.5 times mass over fg which is mass times gravity so the sine of the angle is equal to minus 2.5 over g which is 9.8 so sorry let's 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 get a little bit more space over here okay so we know that the sine of the angle is equal to minus 2.5 over 9.8 so the angle is equal to the sine to the minus 1 of minus 2.8 over 9.8 and this gives us 14.8 degrees okay so we just have to replace the letters by the numbers here so the mass is 5 the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 and we have the cosine of 14.8 degrees and this gives us 47.4 newtons so that's the normal force that's the answer of this exercise